The following program contains incessant calls to battle with the unsavory. If you suffer from squeaky clean handedness, Randall might not be right for you. Check with your local Pharisee. Standing for truth in the four corners of America. Fighting for justice on the frontiers of the culture wars. And turning resistance into an art form. The only TV host arrested more times than Mahatma Gandhi, Randall Terry. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It is late into the night, the wee hours of the morning on primary, Super Tuesday. I'm still here in Oklahoma City, about to go home. Yes, I beat a sitting president in 12 counties in Oklahoma. Actually, 14. I'll bring you more details on that. And we will go over the details between Rick Santorum, Mitt Romney, and Newt Gingrich. Today's program brought to you in part by the Democrat National Committee, who helped me win 12 counties in Oklahoma, and by Democrat voters in Oklahoma who have more of the fear of God and the love of human life in their little finger than President Obama does in his whole corrupt body. I'll be right back after a quick word from one of my very funny friends. Hi, welcome back to the ranch, folks. You know I love a courageous person when I see one, and I know him when I see him. Now take a look at Governor Rick Perry. He's a courageous man. He got on that bull there in Iowa. He did his very best, but he didn't do so well. He got thrown out that bull, right? Well, so he goes charging off to New Hampshire. He's going to ride that bull again, but I think he didn't even get on the bull to begin with. You know, he's got a problem there. But now he wants to stay in the ring with the bull. Imagine that. He's stuck in a ring and the bull's charging after him. Watch out, Governor. Governor, watch out. Welcome to the program, friend. It is I, your servant, Randall. We are exhausted. Five of us have spent 16 days plus here in Oklahoma working our hearts out, handing out tens of thousands of pieces of literature, running nearly 100 television ads. We sent out over 230,000 robocalls, all of us begging Democrat voters here in Oklahoma to vote for me. Well, here's the news. And by the way, Google my name and you will see literally scores, perhaps by tomorrow, hundreds of stories regarding the fact that I beat President Obama in 14 counties here in Oklahoma. I took first place in 12 counties in Oklahoma in the Democrat primary, and I took second place while Obama took third in two other counties. I took over 18% of the vote, and by Democrat Party rules, I have been awarded de delegates at the Democrat National Convention. Stop cheering over there, thank you. I've been awarded delegates, which will be a thorn in the side of President Obama. Never mind the change in light. It's me, just acting a little bit different right now. All right, let's move on. We're all too tired and it's too late to keep doing this. Here's the bottom line. We showed ads on television that showed aborted babies. We had literature that went to tens of thousands of Democrat voters saying, we won't go to the back of the bus. President Obama is promoting the murder of babies by abortion, and he is assaulting religious liberty. He is at war with the church. We sent out over 230,000 robocalls telling people that they had a moral obligation to not vote for Obama. Because of the hard work, the prayers, the financial gifts of a handful of people around the country, I was able to garner 18% of the vote, beat Obama in 12 counties, and get delegates to the Democrat National Convention. This is a major story. Andrew, are we okay to keep going with the light like we are? All right. We'll move on to other news because we've got a big show here, a lot to cover. Mitt Romney took Virginia, Massachusetts, Vermont, Idaho, Ohio by a squeak, by a squeak, <clears throat> and Alaska. Rick Santorum took Tennessee, North Dakota, and Oklahoma right here. And Newt Gingrich, as everyone knew, took Georgia. Ron Paul took nothing. 
Well, there you go. He still hasn't won a single state, but he's got ideas and there are people out there pounding away for him. At the end of the day, here's what it's all about, Alfie. Mitt Romney has not sewn up this nomination. And if the four of these men stay in the race, as they are clearly going to do for at least the next month, it is very, very possible that there will not be a nominee who gets to the convention with enough votes to be the nominee. If it is a brokered convention, who will be the GOP nominee? Will it be Romney, Gingrich, Santorum? Could it be you-know-who? Her, I want to say Her Excellency, <laughs> Her Majesty, Sarah Palin? A reporter asked her today if she would rule out right now that if it was a brokered convention, she would not accept the nomination. And she said, I'm not going to close a door like that this early in the campaign. Could it be Sarah Palin at the top of the ticket? And if she asked me to be her running mate, would I accept? Probably. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm not going to close the door that early in the process. End of the matter is this. Social, social conservatives are fighting their hearts out for Santorum. Libertarians fighting their hearts out for Ron Paul. The establishment, moderate and left-wing Republicans fighting their hearts out for Mitt Romney. And Newt Gingrich, I'm not sure who's fighting for him, but I bet you he takes Alabama and Mississippi real soon. This is the end of the matter. We are going to have a continued brawl. Dare I call it a mud fest with the Republicans? This is going to continue for at least another month. It might continue all the way to the nom or rather all the way to the convention, which in my opinion would be exciting and would probably help the Republicans more than anything because the whole country will be watching. And right now we know that Obama loses to either Santorum or Romney in the swing states. So don't listen to all those polls about who's more popular nationally and Obama's ahead in the national polls. Forget the national polls. Obama could be found with dead Mexican children in the Lincoln bedroom and he's going to win California. So their polling numbers don't matter. What matters are the swing states, okay? And right now, Obama is losing the swing states. And oh, by the way, Obama lost 12 counties in Oklahoma to me, to the one that they call, quote, the domestic terrorist, to the one they call the fringe candidate, to the whipping boy of the left and the baby killers. But I beat him. Look at me, right wing watch. Look at me, Slate. Look deep into my eyes, Jezebel. You're looking at a victor. I beat Obama, your baby killing president with blood on his hands. Yeah. The voters of Oklahoma chose me over this paramount child killer. I've got to take a quick break. When we come back, I've got a couple of really awesome interviews, and we've got to get on the road. I've got to go back. I've got to start campaigning for New Jersey. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Randall and I made a trip to Europe some years ago to visit Henry VIII. He told Henry that Anne Boleyn had a thing for him. The rest is history. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I've been making superb nutritional supplements for over 15 years, and from day one, I've partnered with Randall Terry, helping to fund his invaluable work in reclaiming our country's biblical and godly roots. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives since its inception. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine essential areas of nutrition your body needs on a daily basis. Each serving of the Total Living Drink provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, enzymes for better digestion and nutrient absorption, protein for building lean muscle mass so you can burn more fat for fuel, probiotics for better intestinal function, herbs for building energy and stamina, antioxidants for maximum immune function and disease prevention, and all the vitamins and minerals you need for slowing down aging and maximum health. 
you would have to take 30 to 40 capsules each day and spend almost $10 a day to match the over 30,000 milligrams of total nutrition in each scoop of the Total Living Drink. Order right now and get started on the amazing Total Living Drink. They come in two delicious flavors, Total Living Drink Greens and Total Living Drink Berry. And every single dollar we receive, we give a generous amount to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Visit us online at the address on your screen and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today, and for the daily price of a latte, you can get back on the road to better health and energy with Kylea's Total Living Drink. I hope that you're enjoying the program. This show is brought to you in part by people like you who take advantage of the products that we offer. And this isn't drivel, folks. This is the stuff that is designed to make you into a culture warrior. So if you like what you're seeing and you want to know more about how you can be a more effective warrior in the culture wars and help bring America back to moral sanity, we have books, tapes, CV CDs, DVDs that you can take advantage of. Go to terrycast.com terrycast.com and see the various options that you have. For $50, you get a ton of books. For $75, you get a training series on the history of social revolution. 14 television episodes plus the books that go with it. And for $100, we'll send it all to you. Almost $250 worth of product for only $100. It's your way of helping support this show and becoming an effective warrior. You have a computer, if you're alive today, which means you have a hard drive, which means it's going to break down. Mosey, the backup people, for thousands, for Stan, for thousands of people, for tens of thousands of people, is simply common sense. You go to cpnlive.com, click on the icon for Mosey, the backup people, and sign up. It's, it's just a few dollars a month. Let me tell you something. We had a break-in. They stole our whole computer. You know what? When they take the computer, you can't recover anything, but we had Mosey. We had the backup. We were able to restore everything simply by buying another computer. CPNlive.com, click on the icon for Mosey to backup people and give yourself common sense, peace of mind, great value, the best thing you've ever done. Sooner or later, it's going to be Mosey, the backup people. Obviously, you're here because you know how to rock and roll. It's Randall Terry. Ow! Welcome back to the program, friend. While I've been here in Oklahoma, I was able to interview State Assemblyman Mike Reynolds. He is a legend here. He is a terror to the left and to the corrupt right and to the mushy middle. He is a great man, and I was honored to talk to him. I'm with State House member Mike Reynolds, who basically is legendary around the country. At least there's, you have the right people that hate, that. They're, they're, the right people hate you. Thank you. <laughs> um, explain to the viewers the two tracks of the personhood amendment here in the state. You've got one that's a referendum and you have one that's legislative. Well, uh, we have, you're right. One is a referendum that's the one that we're promoting today. The legislative effort will simply put it in the statute. And a future legislature, if they get weak, the statute can be changed. In Oklahoma, we believe that a massive number of the voters support the idea that life begins at conception, so we want to enshrine it in the Constitution so that uh, legislators can't be pressured at some future point to change it. Does that happen through the referendum or through the legislature? The Constitutional is what we're doing today. That's the initiative referendum. Uh, we need to gather 155,000 signatures, uh, and we'll be able to do that. And then that will be put on the November ballot in the general election. And if the people uh, vote for it, it, which they will in the November ballot, then uh, it will be put in the Constitution. At that point, the other side will argue that the full protection of law would de facto be applied to the unborn from conception till birth. Is that your goal? Uh, our goal is certainly is to protect life from conception, yes. Just for the record, I am a firm believer that the full protection of law needs to be on the unborn and that people need to be prosecuted if they killed these babies. Ultimately, that's going to be the showdown in court for this 
constitutional amendment. I believe it will. Uh, the, the problem is there are people saying right now that there are in vitro doctors coming out and saying this is going to criminalize this behavior or that behavior. And I, I've simply asked them, what behavior is it that you're committing right now that it's going to criminalize? Are, you must already be doing something that I think is criminal. Uh, no, there's nothing in this referendum that does anything other than define that life begins at conception. Any other statutes that we have on the book, then, we'll have to take that into consideration. Are you getting any resistance from so-called pro-life groups? Because there's a lot of pro-life groups around the country who have tried to undermine personhood initiatives. National Right to Life Committee is chief amongst them. Well, um, they, uh, I think they don't trust the people as much as I do. And so they uh, generally do not want things going to a ballot initiative. They seem to have more trust in legislators than I do, mm. uh, uh, because if we could trust the legislature, this would have been done a long time ago. Uh, the people are tired of it. They're demanding a change. And the National Right to Organization is, is really not supportive of it going to a ballot initiative, uh, but we are. There are people in the National Right to Life and others that say, this is going to be struck down at the federal level. It just adds to the body of case law that upholds Roe versus Wade. Please tell them why they're wrong. Well, they may be right, and it'll expose more hypocritical judges that don't understand when life begins. So uh, we can't be on defense forever. We've been on defense way too long, and so we're, we're striking out in, in an offensively to, uh, to take back our country and to save human lives. God love you. If we had a hundred legislators like you around the country, we'd have ended this a long time ago. Well, thank you. Anything else you want to say to our viewers? We're on in about 44 cities. I, I just really appreciate what you do. Thank you. Uh, in 1992, um, there was an abortionist in Oklahoma City uh, that was caught burning fetuses in Shawnee. And I, and I think you were organizing uh, um, demonstrations. I was at, helping Neil Mullins, if my memory is correct. And. Uh, and I actually had an accountant that was at the office in Oklahoma City where that abortion is, that office park. And I watched sidewalk counselors out there um, visit, try to visit with young women going into the abortion clinic. And uh, as they visited with them, I mean, in, in July in Oklahoma, it's 105 on the, and, and this is concrete, it's 120, and they're, they're out there just suffering. And some of the people in that office complex weren't very happy about those sidewalk counselors being out there. And I'm telling you this because it's a vivid part of my memory. Uh, so as we, uh, as we were going along, picket fences went up around the clinic. But they went up around the clinic in Kansas and Houston and Oklahoma City. And the police said, you can't sidewalk counsel here anymore. And it didn't take, I'm not a lawyer, but it, sometimes just a little common sense helps you out. I realized there was 100 square feet of office space for renting that office complex. I got the Oklahomans for Life to rent that 100 square feet of office space. They could no longer keep the sidewalk counselors out of their property. The picket fences came down. And I told that story on the campaign trail 12 years later to a man. He said, what did you ever do? You say you're pro-life. What did you ever do? I told him that story, and he said, you don't know how many children I saved out of that 100 square feet of office space. So uh, God's good. God love you. Thank you, Assemblyman Reynolds. I will be right back, friends, with an exclusive interview with a journalist from here in Oklahoma. And you'll see why there's some really good people here. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. I love doing this program, but this program is brought to you mostly by people like you who support it, not by sending us money, but by buying the products that we offer and these products are specifically designed to make you a more effective culture warrior 
in our fight to bring America back to moral sanity. So here's what I want you to do. Go to terrycast.com, T-E-R-R-Y, cast.com, and look at the books and tapes and the training series that we have available to you there. You're going to see some incredible deals. And by the way, my books, which you can purchase at terrycast.com, if you order that package, I will autograph them for you. They make great gifts. You can give some to your pastor, to your priest, to your Sunday school teacher, or you can show that training series on the history of social revolution to your friends, to your neighbors in your church. Go to terrycast.com. Do you uh, eat fruit, vegetables? I hope so. But today, you don't get the minerals, you don't get the vitamins, you don't get the nutrition you need off of standard bill of fare. You simply have to supplement. And the most complete nutritional product in America today is unquestionably Liquid Life Complete Nutrition. It tastes good and it's good for you. I've been using this product for 15 years. I know I don't look it, but uh, I'm 21 plus tax. I just happen to live in a high tax state. Listen to me. You can support your family, support your health, and support our show by going to cpnlive.com and clicking on the icon for Liquid Life Complete Nutrition and ordering it. Our price is delivered to your door any place in the United States. And I will tell you something. Once you start with this, you'll notice the difference and you'll never want to stop. I didn't. Liquid Life Complete Nutrition at cpnlive.com. Click on the icon and order for yourself. If we are together, nothing is impossible. If we are divided, all will fail. Sir Winston Churchill. Welcome back to the program, friend. If you just joined us, I, Randall Terry, beat President Obama in 12 counties here in Oklahoma. Yeah, first place. <laughs> all right. Now, I had an exclusive interview with the editor and chief of the Red Dirt Report. I, I really enjoyed this, and you'll see why the people of Oklahoma have their heads just a little more screwed on straight than people in the Northeast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this segment of the Voice of Resistance. We had too little time in an earlier show when I interviewed Andrew Griffin, the editor of the Red Dirt Report, and we were talking off camera and said, hey, let's just do some more. We can use it again. I mean, we do it with everyone else, and I with Andrew. All right, so here I am with Andrew Griffin, founder, editor-in-chief of the Red Dirt Report, and a, and a decent journalist. I mean that. I, I actually got a kick out of reading about me from you. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, well, it was, uh, I try to capture just the moment, uh, what's going on, uh, wherever I happen to be, and, uh, and with you, uh, it's always interesting. Uh, just in the, <laughs> in the two days I spent with you on the RV with uh, you and Andrew, and uh, that's what I try to do. Talk to me about some of your media heroes, press heroes, I should say. Well, this is going to take uh, take you all back to 1837. You had a... Uh... That was a great year. <laughs> Unbelievable pumpkin pie. It was before granulated processed sugar. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. Yeah. Most people don't know the name Elijah P. Lovejoy. He was a native of the state of Maine. He was a uh, minister, and he decided to uh, try his... Uh, try life out west in the frontier. And back then, it was St. Louis, Missouri. It was a big uh, Mississippi River town. And he moved there and had a real strong uh, feeling about the uh, abolition of slavery. And uh, that was a growing issue uh, in, uh, I guess, in the Enlightenment period of the 19th century. And uh, there were um, organizations forming. And he decided, as a, as, a, as a owner of a press, to start a, a press in St. Louis. But it being a, a slave state in Missouri, he was uh, basically run out of town. And he ran over across the Mississippi River to Illinois, which was a free state in Alton, Illinois, and started a press there. And uh, the uh, pro-slavery mobs uh, threw his printing press in the Mississippi River, not once but twice. And then he was uh, murdered by the mob uh, in, his, uh, in a, his home there in Alton. And now there's a Trying to defend his third expensive press. That's right, yes. I mean, they were, they were uh, ruthless and uh, trying to squelch his ability to uh, share his feelings about uh, slavery. So are you, are you following in his footsteps in the sense of you have a cause that you want to promote or that you're willing to die for? 
Well, I, I believe uh, in the First Amendment and the freedom of speech and the freedom of the press. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're so fortunate. You know, I, I look around the world and I see press freedoms, uh, you know, trampled upon all the time. And here it's it's if things don't change, it's going to start going that way. But for the time being, we do have these freedoms. And I, I'm going to stand up for that until uh, I'm no longer able to hold a pen. Modern day heroes. Modern day heroes. Um, Boy, that's a, that's a great question. Uh, none are coming to mind. They put me on the spot there, Randall. But no, you know, they're. You're going to talk about Andrew. The, the oh, well, with Andrew Breitbart. Yeah, that's right. We were talking about Andrew Breitbart. You know, he just passed away, and uh, they're still determining uh, what happened with that. But uh, I, uh, you know, I look at that sort of a, a person who's, you know, stands up to the uh, the left media in, in Hollywood and says, you know, hey, there are people out here. Who are sophisticated enough to know what's what's going on, and we're not going to just fall for whatever you have to push on us. So, uh, Andrew Breitbart, I will I will never forget him. I got to speak with him a couple of times, um, and uh, look to him as a as a media hero. Interesting. All right. Well, good luck to you and, and to your business, and uh, long life to you and those you love. Same to you, Randall. Thank you. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. After we try and sell some trinkets, don't go away. Go to reddirtreport.com if you would like to see some of the reporting of this journalist. I'll be right back with a word from one of our founders. The Lord says to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion your mighty scepter, rule in the midst of your foes. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day you lead your host upon the holy mountains. Hi, Joe Costello here, founder of Kylea Health and Energy. I want to share with you a product that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. Introducing the Total Living Drinks, Greens and Berry, the ultimate superfood formulas that provide you the nine daily essential areas of nutrition your body needs. Each scoop provides the life-giving phytonutrients that come from the equivalent of five servings of organic vegetables and berries, probiotics for better intestinal function, antioxidants for disease prevention, and vitamins and minerals for establishing maximum health. Order now and get started on the Total Living Drink. When you do, a generous gift will go to Randall Terry's organization to help further his work and further the kingdom. Order online and receive an online discount or call the toll-free number. Call today and enjoy maximum health and energy. I am holding in my hand a product. It's called TR10 Super Colloidal Silver. It's a natural antibiotic that works. You know, the reason we use silver to make Cutlery, silverware, is because nothing grows on silver. It's the reason they put it in your teeth. It's the reason they use silver instruments to operate on the brain. TR10 is very inexpensive. Just go to cpnlive.com, click on the icon for the TR10, and order a quart. It's so inexpensive, it's really silly. But it's invaluable when you have a sore throat, when you have a cold, when you have something you're concerned about in yourself, your child, whether you have to spray it in your eyes or swallow it or put it on your skin, makes no difference. It's totally safe. It has less silver than is the safe level in drinking water, yet it's done in such a way that it does the job. A natural antibiotic, yours, TR10, supercolloidal silver from cpnlive.com. Just click on the icon. James Garfield said, now more than ever before, the people are responsible for the character of their Congress. If that body be ignorant, reckless, and corrupt, it is because the people tolerate ignorance, recklessness, and corruption. If it be intelligent, brave, and pure, it is because the people demand these high qualities to represent them in the national legislature. If the next centennial does not find us a great nation, it will be because those who represent the enterprise, the culture, and the morality of the nation do not aid in controlling the political forces. 
Let's talk about the ignorance. Let's talk about the recklessness, the corruption of Congress, the Senate and the House, of the White House. How did we get into this mess? Well, a lot of it is because the Christian community has been addicted to bread and circuses. Now, the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father does in fact say, give us this day our daily bread. So our preoccupation with food for our families, it's natural. It's even holy and just. But our addiction to circuses, to pleasures, to entertainment, to sports, this addiction has allowed the National Congress to become a bastion of recklessness, of ignorance, and corruption. I submit to you that the reason this country is going to hell in a handbasket is because of we, the people. Our elected officials could never have gotten away with this if we hadn't let them. Now, I ran against Obama here in Oklahoma in a primary, and I'm happy to tell you that the good people of this state the Christian Democrats of this state helped bring me to victory in 12 counties. And I beat Obama in two more where I finished second and he finished third. There are many people out there who think only the Republicans represent the religious right. It's not true. And worse yet, the Christians of the religious right have allowed our leaders to become reckless and ignorant and corrupt. It's time that we put principle ahead of party and brought this nation back to justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs>